now we are uh, going to discuss about transport of uh, gases first we are taking transport of oxygen transport of oxygen occurs exclusively via blood the two parts of uh, blood which participates in uh, o2 transport are plasma uh, which contributes 3% part and rbc which functional uh, unit is uh, hemoglobin contributes 97% part of o2 transport so oxygen is mainly transported uh, by uniting with hemoglobin now we see one molecule of hemoglobin contains four heme groups and since one heme binds with one molecule of oxygen and because one hemoglobin molecule contains four heme groups it combines with four molecules of oxygen to form a compound called oxyhemoglobin hb4o8 is oxyhemoglobin now what factors uh, is responsible for association of uh, uh, oxygen to hemoglobin is partial pressure of oxygen partial pressure of oxygen is more in the lungs where association occurs but at low partial pressure which uh, exists at tissues level dissociation of hemoglobin occurs so low partial pressure leads to dissociation more partial pressure pressure leads to uh, association of hemoglobin with oxygen another value is 1 gram hemoglobin combines with 1.34 ml of oxygen considering 15 gram hemoglobin in 100 uh, ml of blood it can binds with 20 ml of oxygen this is o2 carrying capacity of 100 ml blood in which hemoglobin content is 15 gram hemoglobin is the only content of blood which is measured in gram other contents are measured in milligram now this relationship ki hb4 uh, unites with oxygen to form oxyhemoglobin can be observed by plotting a graph called hbo2 dissociation curve the shape of this curve is sigmoid in this curve in this axis we have put partial pressure of oxygen and this axis percentage saturation of hemoglobin we see with increase in partial pressure percentage saturation of hemoglobin is increase suppose if the partial pressure is 20 mmhg partial pressure is 20 mmhg percentage saturation of hemoglobin is this further we increase the partial pressure percentage saturation this at 100 mmhg partial pressure of oxygen hemoglobin becomes fully saturated means 100% saturated fully saturated Uh, hemoglobin means it has combined with four molecules of oxygen now at the level of tissues at the level of tissues where partial pressure of oxygen is less this curve to shift towards right shifting of curve towards right at the level of tissues where where partial pressure of oxygen is less and ph is more ph is more or sorry this ph is less and partial pressure of carbon dioxide is more is called bohr's effect bohr effect promotes dissociation of hemoglobin molecule because when the curve shift towards right percentage saturation is decrease this decrease in percentage saturation indicates this shifting uh, unloads the oxygen and the hemoglobin becomes free some more points uh, you should remember ki hemoglobin dissociation curve is sigmoid but myoglobin myoglobin is a hemoglobin found in muscle its shape is rectangular hyperbola similarly this is this curve is of adult hemoglobin but in fetus which is called hbf hbf dissociation curve uh, does not shift towards right it shift towards left this is uh, especially you should remember now come to transport of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide uh, is uh, transported in three different form 7% CO2 is transported in the form of carbonic acid how this carbonic acid is for this CO2 form in the tissues diffuses into plasma and plasma uh, it combines with water to form carbonic acid this is non enzymatic reaction and occurs in the absence of uh, enzyme so uh, the reaction is very slow therefore most of the CO2 diffuses from plasma to RBCs where it combines with free hemoglobin to form carb amino hemoglobin it accounts uh, about 23% of the transport of uh, co2 this is also non enzymatic reaction occurs in the absence of enzyme but rbc also contains water co2 then combines with water 
to form carbonic acid but this is a enzymatic reaction uh, this reaction is catalyzed by this enzyme carbonic anhydrase which is one of the fastest known enzyme its turnover number is 36 million in the presence of uh, this enzyme carbonic acid is formed but this carbonic acid is unstable compound so dissociates into carbonic acid and hydrogen ion because of permeability of uh, membrane of rbc most of the bicarbonate ions diffuses from rbc's to plasma about 75% transport 75% uh, bicarbonate diffuses uh, from rbc's to plasma this bicarbonate ion associates with sodium ion to form sodium bicarbonate the remaining 25% combines with potassium to form potassium bicarbonate so in the form of bicarbonate ion sodium bicarbonate and uh, potassium bicarbonate about it takes about 70% uh, of the transport of co2 now due to diffusion of bicarbonate ions from rbc's to plasma it disturbs the ionic equilibrium of rbc and plasma to maintain such ionic equilibrium chloride ion shift from uh, plasma to rbc's this is called as chloride shift or after the name of discoverer it is also called as uh, also called as hamburger shift it was discovered by hamburger hamburger shift now if this free hydrogen ion starts accumulating in rbc it can uh, change the ph of uh, blood but hemoglobin is itself a buffer it combines with uh, free h plus ions and form hhb and chloride ion which shift from plasma to rbc's binds with potassium ion which is found in rbc's to form kcl Strong.